Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be touching on a game that I've been following for the last three-ish, four-ish, three and a half years. Industries of Titan. This is a, a game that incorporates a lot of my, my, my triggers. We've got cyberish punk music. We've got neon lights. We've got spaceships. We got RTS kind of building, relaxation, management. And if you guys have ever played faster... Uh, than light or prison architect or something like that it has that feel as well but right now it's not a full game there's still a lot to come as you can see from here but this is the first early access gameplay that we have to experience and if you guys want to help support the channel immensely and you're interested in this game you can use my creator code fly daily on the epic game store to pick this game up for yourself as you can see there's a lot coming and coming soon, we got road trucks, ship construction, and population simulation. And even though this is an early access, everything's polished nicely. The, the tutorial is fully voiced. There, there's different characters for different segments of your economy and your planning and your council and everything like that. There's so much to it. Getting a little excited. We're going to start a new game here. And um, we're just going to show you what this game is a little bit about today. Oh yeah, by the way, we're on Titan, one of the uh, Saturn's moons. I mean, just the music, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, I, I need a game like this right now. One, I can just brain dump and drool. So, when you... If you guys pick up the game yourself... Mm, once she's done talking, I can I can start talking. It's a fully... Vo vo it's fully voiced like this. It's so well done. We're going to turn this off just for the sake of me talking. There's, there's a lot to this game. Um, okay, so welcome to my Titan area. Uh, in the full game, there's going to be other corporations or we're called um, founders. This is the council, or everyone calls me the founder because I have founded this mm, headquarters, if you will. Um, I only have about maybe two or three hours in this game, so I'm still a noob, but I did complete the tutorial a little bit. Uh, so apologies if I get some stuff wrong uh, by people who have been playing this a little bit longer than I have even though it's so new. So the council funds me. These are like the overlords and uh, they're investors towards me. So I have to be good. I have to manage stuff. If things go astray, you know, it sounds like they can um, take it away and pretty much cancel me. Okay, so first things first, we're gonna need some resources. So as you can see, we can go inside our headquarters. We can go inside this building and design it. And a lot of systems and subsystems that gives you, uh, for example, we, we can generate fuel, I believe, from the air or underground or something. We generate fuel uh, into fuel tanks, and we can convert that from our, from these generators into energy, or we burn it to create energy, and we relay that around the city. That's getting really far ahead of ourselves. But first, we're going to clear some of these old ruins, which uh, is a previous civilization that um, almost conquered, almost did well on Titan. But didn't, however, as you can see. We're going to go this way. And how we do this is that we... Uh, well, first, we, we can survey this and see what's in the ruins. As you can see, there's either resources or artifacts. Artifacts kind of helps you, at least right now in the game, uh, generate employees. And maybe some bribes. And this is our territory right here. This is, this is what we can build in. So, what we kind of want to do is just kind of uh, survey these, all of these... And tear them down, and they will also generate us resources just from the, the salvage. But what I want to do just so we can sustain is get out over here. And the council will let us do that, but we have to pay them with influence. So claim for influence. You can see that. And how we generate influence is, I think, with our credit amount, our minerals, and our isotopes. And maybe... Yeah, that's about it. You can see our, see our territory goes. Okay, so we can see 
26 minerals, 10 wastes. One red artifact. We're going to take that instead of the 16 minerals. And you see the all, all the micro animations in this game make me a happy camper. Um, that's cool. We'll, we'll, we'll take some waste. Waste is, this is a really good one. Who has a red artifact though? Oh, uh, okay. We'll take this one. Then we'll get more red, red artifact in the future. Uh, waste gets a little troubling just because it builds up and it clogs stuff. It slows stuff down and it, it can even shut stuff down. And here's the star port here. We'll get into that in a little bit. But so a as they salvage this, the workers, the employees will transfer this waste, isotopes, and minerals. Oh, we're full. Okay, so this is full. To help us acquire it, we need to create some of uh, these storage areas. And they're going to place the minerals in there, which it calls for. Then inside your headquarters, you're going to have workers building and stuff. I, don't know, I, just, I, I just think it's cool. I love macro simulations and then micro simulations as well. All right, cool. So that is built. And we return to our city. And all, all the employees will go and grab all the waste and stuff. Uh, but right now, we're going to keep using our influence, which is getting a little bit low. But maybe we can get one patch. Ooh. It probably, the influence will probably increase just because of all the resources that we're bringing in right now. We'll go ahead and uh, survey these, and hopefully they'll have um, some red artifacts. So from salvaging all those buildings and such, we have a pretty good reserve of at least one type of resource, the minerals. So right now we can go ahead and get someone out there, start working on that. Generates a passive income of minerals. And then we can focus on the next thing, is power. Now, I'm going to keep my headquarters... Kind of for resources right now. So what we can do is build a factory. And I don't know. I'm I'm kind of weird with the way that th this game wants to wants you to build in kind of a block pattern. But I'm, but I but I kind of want to put the factory away from where people are you know sleeping and well oh yeah I shouldn't I, sh I shouldn't have said that. Uh, we're gonna have a industrial factory and then a people's factory. It's a little weird on Titan, I gotta say. Now let's rotate it, so... Cool. And all my employees will go and deliver the resources that are in their backpack into the lot. It will take one isotope, which we do have. Okay, that, that's already filled. And then, uh, ten minerals. And so if you're asking yourself, what's the point of this game? It's, um, you're managing all, everything. Once you change something, something has to be decreased or increased. Probably has to be increased. So it's this, it's this equilibrium balancing and growing and scaling correctly to where you don't create a short in the system. And then you also have a spaceport, which you send ships off of Titan to Earth, Mars, and the belt. Yeah, well, it doesn't tell you too much here. Oh, well, we can unlock it because we have two red artifacts. So ships are... Okay, this guy's in Jupiter. Uh, this, wait, this is from Jupiter. This is, uh, Mars docked. En route from Earth. We'll go into this in a little bit. This is, let's look at this factory online. But it's cool, you're able to deliver the, the resources to the thing. And look, this guy's mining over here. And then eventually there'll be ships and, or, um, cars or transport. And leisures and clubs. Or leisure clubs. That's what I'm really most excited about. <laughs> You know, creating a club and, you know, having all the things inside of it and people are coming and spending the credits and stuff. In a cyberpunkish kind of world. Okay, this factory just got completed. Okay. Very nice. So this factory, we'll enter the factory. And, uh, we're gonna get a little heavy here. So, fuel. We're going to make this a large power plant. Okay, let, wait. Sometimes it's not that good to overbuild. This is okay, though. Now, I don't know the best way to build. And I, and I have a feeling that, gosh, in like six, seven months, people are all going to be building the same because it's the most efficient. There's no more creativity. No, I'm, I'm just playing. All I'm saying is that I don't know the best way to do this. So I don't really... I'm just going to click and put down. Okay, so... This is a fuel fabricator. I don't know where it gets it. Okay. 
Yeah, I don't, I don't know where, really where it gets us. It probably drills it from the air or the ground. I think it told me the tutorial. Apologies. We'll create some storage containers. And then we're going to convert that fuel into energy, which will be right here. Put a little space, make, make it look kind of cool. The huge generator is almost complete. Okay, this is producing. Is it? Hmm. Hmm. There it goes. Okay, it had to be connected with this uh, energy relay. Okay, all that left is left's here is uh, this industrial outlet, which I think might be built right now. And hopefully all my employees can go back to work mining. We are strapped for minerals. Okay, once that's done, then th this energy is going to different places. Is that one built yet? Almost done with this one as well. Don't really, don't really need this one downstairs. We're going to use downstairs for storage. We're going to upgrade our headquarters to have a uh, floor two. So we got our minerals online. We just unlocked an isotope patch, which is helping us unlock some isotopes, resources. And uh, what that is, is like a secondary resource. Helps you uh, unlock, build, unique, and um, things you definitely need in the future. Don't need as much, but takes longer to mine. Now, what I want to do is I want to upgrade my headquarters so I get two stories and two stories to build on. So we'll upgrade here. It will do it on its own. And what we'll do is we'll make the second story of our headquarters um, a, a living space or where we'll house our citizens just for now. <laughs> it, like, it like 3D prints it. Isn't that, isn't that cool? <laughs> so nerdy. I don't care though. I don't care. Okay, she's almost done. Everything's full and topped off here. We're not using really any energy at all, so it should do that. Okay, and we're done. The scaffolding should go down, then we should be able to use this. <laughs> this is small stuff. Attention to detail. So, bigger headquarters. Another, another floor we have. Wow, our resources are almost full. But here's our second story. Now, I think what we'll have to do here is put a industrial outlet here. I haven't done this yet, by the way. And uh, we'll put it just in the corner. Why not? And then to accept more citizens into our... These are citizens right here. We have none. But we need to create a habitat pod where they'll pretty much just chill out there and do really nothing like us gamers. So we'll create four. That's good. And then we'll put a large energy relay in the middle just to relay the energy all nice and around. Oops, sorry. I wish this was a, was a two, a two, um, maybe a small one would look nicer. Who cares? <laughs> this is going to get people kind of annoyed, but that looks perfect. How, how, how are they coming upstairs and down? They're going down. They're going down up and down an elevator. Adorable. Put the resources in here, and then they'll build it. Disabled, enabled. I was really interested. That once we get this energy relay on, will this work? <laughs> Looks like Chappie. From the movie. Go get more. Or maybe this guy will build it. No, this guy will. Huh. Maybe I do need the energy relay. Maybe I miss miss misstepped. Yeah. Whoopsie daisy. No problem. We'll just build that right now. Now, everyone should drop what they are, they're doing. And we'll put construction on the top job. These guys should not even start their job, but I guess they are. Why not? Yep. Okay, good. One person's coming back. 
At least the isotope worker is still working. How much does this thing cost? Probably wasn't that much. Okay, 10 minerals. Not bad at all. And if I'm... If I've misstepped or misexplained something in this video, I do apologize. I'm just trying my best from, from the little I've, I've played. It's kind of a first impression stuff. Just trying to show you what you can do in this game right now. Okay, this is done. And the scaffolding will go down, and then power! More power, baby! Okay, now it should be working. Oh, it's at it. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. <laughs> Need to put it in the range of it. Good, good job, Chappie. We have power! <laughs> okay, so this is coming along nicely. Now that we have uh, habitat pods for the civilians, or the citizens, we can um, buy some, if you will, or buy cargo. Okay, so this was perfect. This is no resources. Um, uh, I might want to buy some res. No, we're okay. We're we're okay. Let's just see what. Mm, we'll buy this right now. We we have a light frigate or freighter, Shimmer, from Earth. So we didn't buy any resources really with this, so uh, usually the workers would come to the spaceport and collect. But here are our humble citizens that will speed up here. They're, they really got nothing to do, so they're not that... They got nothing to do. They're not going to be that quick to do anything. But what I hope is that they come into the headquarters. It looks like a, uh, lo looks like a skyscraper almost. And they'll go up. Here they are. Cool, cool, cool. We'll go to the second floor. Oh, I almost forgot. We got to put a uh, um, waste stuff for them. Or oh, they're completely littered the place. Look, guys, they're doing what we're doing right now. Now, there's another resource that we need: credits. And how we how we earn credits in the game, at least for right now. Is that we monetize them? <laughs> we uh, we mo it's like they're watching YouTube. We we sell ads to the to the civilians, the citizens that have come over to Titan, and we sell ads, and that's how we earn our credits. So monetize monetization station. We'll build one here, and that won't work there. Hmm. Hey, that, that works. That's pretty neat, actually. Let's go with that, so we can get plus two credits. Okay, so this is almost on. Monetization station is online. And one guy is like, man, I want to go watch Fly Daily's YouTube ads. And this humble, this, hum this humble flea comes into my YouTube channel area. And then now we're plusing one on our credits. And you see they're already trashing the place, by the way. But Chappie is uh, cleaning up as well and putting into this waste, which will get filled. And now that we have that sorted, all right, good, good. We're going to start generating a lot of waste soon with uh, civilians. And with that said, we have some good amount of isotopes. We can start to burn it. And we need to be on powered. Put it right here. I wonder if I can. Does this just need to be powered? Does it, will it tell me if it needs to? Does not require power. Energy required, negative four. Okay, so this needs to be powered. We gotta put it on a power block. We'll put it right here. And I don't know where the rest of our workers are. Oh, well, okay. They were inside, I guess, idled. We're gonna need to put some more employees on minerals now we're gonna start to run low unless we just can just you know buy this for influence and survey it hopefully get some minerals or what we can do too guys is that we can also use our influence to purchase um, ships or cargo 
So we'll do this one. So this guy will land. He'll drop off his waist and his minerals, though. I really don't know what we're paying for. Maybe... I know we're pay paying with influence, but I really don't understand, like, why. Like, does he get paid? Does he get... Is, is influence, like, the master currency? So that's there just hanging out, and uh, my employees will go and get it when... Um, they have the best... Um, well, when they have nothing to do. Smokestack is coming online. Sick. Now, in all honesty, you probably want to push your smokestack a little bit further away because it does create pollution, which does harm your uh, employees and citizens, I believe. Here, let's just go make sure. Oh, lost one. Yeah, I think they do, though. Now, all we got to do is assign one of our employees there. However, that's one less we have working on the ground. So we're going to need to create some more employees. And how we do that is with conversion. Oops, sorry. Wait, do we pay credits for that ship to land? I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, I gotta relook. Okay, we need conversion capsules. Perfect. I I I actually like how this room's organized a little bit. It's kind of cool. And so, what will happen is the employees will grab the waste, bring it to the smokestack. In the, oh, some are actually going to the spaceport to pick up some minerals as well. And waste. We gotta get rid of that waste. We'll just speed up time here. Okay, so now this is built, we can use one of those red artifacts that we surveyed in uh, from one of the ruins. And I think we convert a citizen from blood and guts to... There he goes to a robot employee. At least that's how the tutorial uh, worded it. And he'll, he'll go into this capsule and get all poke and prod it. And then we'll have one more. Stop being so trashy. N an another chappy. Oh gosh. Uh, Milo, Melo. While we're at it, we need to do another one. We need much more employees right now. With that said, we can probably take on take on some more citizens. Uh, I want resources too. Let's see what. Let's fast forward and see what this uh, ship coming in from uh, Luna. Prisoner ship. Oh gosh. Oh, okay, they have four. Okay, so that is the start of this industrial city on Titan. Hope you guys enjoyed. There's still a ton more to be added. This is just kind of the core basics of a small industrial city. I mean, right now we could, uh, because we're, uh, we have smokestacks, smokestacks, the air's polluted. We can take a, a, a fuel turbine, fabricates fuel from toxic chemicals in the air that we're burning. This is what we should be doing all along on Earth. <laughs> The same time, these people on Titan are probably wearing a mask. Actually, probably have to wear a mask fully. Uh, and then uh, that will... Just like the same thing that's in our factory right now. Fuel, energy energy generator, and then into energy. And then we can do that right here. Fuel turbine, energy plant, energy depot, just storage. The population, we can build conversion centers. Ah, everything gets more streamlined as you invest more. I just can't wait for the other corporations to start appearing. That should be soon, TM. I want to fight. And with the um, the military, there's a military trailer or a combat trailer, which you design and place and build inside the interior of the ships. I'm pretty excited for this game. Fellas, I hope you have enjoyed. If you guys want to support the channel heavily, consider using that link in the description below to pick up this game from the Epic Games Store. This game is not, this, this is not sponsored by Epic Games. This is just a affiliate link that you guys can support me. So excited that this game's almost, it's here, but almost fully here. Guys, have a great day. Until tomorrow, peace out.